was in, interviewed by many people, and they wanted to write. They 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 write their own uh, uh, stories about me without me, you know, changing it or whatever. But this book, my name is Asma, is definitely the book which really covers the whole of my life. And I hope uh, the public, especially women, will take uh, interest in reading it. And uh, what was the most interesting chapters in your life? Marrying my husband <laughs> <laughs> and having the children. Sometimes it gets confused. I remember there's one time when I took him to the hospital when he had his first heart attack. Mm -hmm. I did realize who I was taking to hospital. I was taking my, my husband to hospital. I, 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 was, I had that impression. I'm taking my husband to hospital. But only when someone said to better tell the family and better tell the deputy prime minister, then I realized that I was also taking the prime minister to hospital. Because that, 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 um, you don't connect it with uh, somebody else. This is my husband, this is it. Father's achievement in public service is when uh, the Kadahans, I'm not a Kadahan person, I'm a Slango person, are going there to work in Kadah, which is an entirely different a set of people with different culture, different uh, opportunity, Language. dialect. The best moment is when they all accepted me. So the proudest moment is when the Pumulu and the other traditional leaders in the kampong accepted me as one of them. Durian season, they'll come and pick me up, take me to the durian estate and had a nice lunch of durian. That's, that's something which, which is a privilege and honour for me. I found it uh, very challenging but very, very interesting because later on uh, we formed uh, more Jatan Kwasa sub subcommittees for education of members, visit field visits, and then we have a welfare subcommittee. We have a, a sports team, and that's how we first started our badminton team, 1985. Can't see a mother with a child, you know. I go straight for her and ask her two questions. What number, baby? Is say, oh, number one. Good. Good to have a, a, a first born baby. Have you finished the, uh, the vaccination? <laughs> That's my second question, because it's very important now that they have they go through the immunization to prevent all the child diseases which kills them before they reach one year old. <laughs> First and foremost, I like to say from the very beginning, I'm not a politician and I don't like to meddle with politics. And because of that, I cannot advise my, child, my children in politics. But. The only thing is I, I like them to be just be careful and uh, to mix up more with the, with the grassroots, with the community, if you want to have their support. I encourage them to do so. People are asking, doesn't this current issues yeah, has an impact on me as a wife of the, what should I call that here? Uh, combatant. <laughs> <laughs> Dissident. <laughs> yeah. The combatant. But of course it helps. It, it has impact on me. But it, it, it is, the impact is more on my husband. So I don't want to show my impact. Can, and cause him to worry more. The less problem I give to my husband, the better for him. That, that, that's why you have to be always near him. I'm, I'm always near him. I always go around with him. But uh, sometimes, yes, sometimes you get very upset. Uh, this few, this few weeks, months, I was very upset. For me, I was to be 
is to become. An important life lesson is to be with people. You must. Then, of course, you have to be with your family to understand your family, your husband first, of course. Understand your husband, understand your family. And after that, you have to go out and understand people. The society you are living in, especially here in a country. So we have multiracial. And that the best way to learn about people, to go and mix with them. So this thing, diet, good rest, exercise and good mental attitude.